elephant painting at the Melbourne Zoo forms part of our environmental or behavioural enrichment. Um, the elephants have a range of things that they do as part of the fun activities that they do and paintings forms one part of that. You'll see their eyes sort of light up, they'll walk in and they'll be, oh cool, painting. And they like just sort of slapping around, they're holding this thing that looks like a little twig and it's making colours on a piece of paper. And it's just, you can see they really enjoy doing it. On the odd occasion they'll come in and they'll go, you know what, I don't feel like painting today. And that's fine, they just turn around and they'll walk away and that's, that's fine, they don't have to do the painting. We've had our big boy who's walked in and, you know, it's like there's a bit of mud or something. I don't feel like standing in the mud and painting, so you know what, I'm cool. And he'll walk away and he doesn't have to. So we don't force them to do anything like that. And it's a fun activity and it just forms part of the, one of the enrichment uh, things that we do offer. Obviously, it's really fun for people to see as well and the public get to see the, 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 the incredible colours and the amazing paintings. Um, and it's also unique to each elephant. They all have their own painting style. Namoy, for example, tends to sort of dab the piece of paper with a, with a paintbrush. Other, others, like uh, On Guard, have these really big up and down brush strokes. Some of them are a little bit more um, careful with where they paint. They sort of, they, they tend to, okay, I'll get the paper. Some of them are just, if I paint your hand, and I'll paint whatever I feel like. And it's just, <laughs> they just tend to sort of go off the page a little bit.